We're going to explain how to set up Wi-Fi printing on your Epson XP2105 printer. 1. First, make sure your Epson XP2105 printer is turned on and within range of your Wi-Fi router. 2. Next, you'll need to connect your printer to your Wi-Fi network. The exact method might vary slightly depending on your printer's firmware version, but generally, you'll need to find the Wi-Fi settings on the printer's control panel. This usually involves pressing a button labeled Wi-Fi, wireless, or a similar icon. 3. The printer's LCD screen should guide you through the process. You'll likely need to select your Wi-Fi network from a list and enter your Wi-Fi password. 4. Carefully enter your password, ensuring you have the correct uppercase and lowercase letters. If you're having trouble seeing the password characters clearly on the screen, use another device to look it up first. 5. Once you've entered the password correctly and confirmed the selection, the printer will attempt to connect to your Wi-Fi network. This might take a few minutes. 6. You should see a confirmation message on the printer screen once the connection is successful. 7. Now let's set up your computer or smartphone. The process will differ depending on your operating system. Windows, Mac OS, Android, iOS. For Windows, go to Devices and Printers or Settings and add a new printer. The system should automatically detect the Epson XP2105 once it's connected to your Wi-Fi. For Mac OS, go to System Preferences, Printers and Scanners, and add the printer. For smartphones, install the Epson iPrint app and follow the in-app instructions to connect your printer. This app often simplifies the process of detecting and configuring the printer over Wi-Fi. 8. After adding the printer to your computer or mobile device, test the connection by printing a test page. If the test print works, you've successfully set up Wi-Fi printing. 9. If you encounter any issues, double-check your Wi-Fi password, ensure your printer is within range of the router, and that the router's Wi-Fi is working correctly. Also, check the Epson website for any updated drivers or troubleshooting information. 10. Remember, restarting your printer and router sometimes fixes minor connection problems. If problems persist, consult the Epson support website or contact their customer support for further assistance.